Why, hello. You've come to hear me talk about Dolph Lundgren's 1987 VHS workout called Maximum Potential, didn't you? I know you did. I was so impressed by this video. I just turned it on thinking it was just gonna be a laugh, we we're gonna have a good time making fun of the 80s and the ridiculous shoes. I didn't realize I would learn so much in the 45 minutes it took me to do this workout. I didn't understand what a wise man Dolph is or was. He was only 30 when this came out, but he spit in stuff like Mr. Miyagi. I couldn't believe it. Let's take a step back. People in 2020 owe Dolph a huge debt of gratitude. Because think about it. Maximum potential. Where have we heard that before? Fulfill your full potential. All these positivity yogis have been saying it for the past 10 years, that we must work our hardest to fulfill our full potential. Well, what does that mean? The workout itself is about 45 minutes. The entire video is just under an hour. A good 10 minutes of that is Dolph explaining his philosophy on working out. And he has one. He didn't come into this world as a big beefcake. He started off as a chemical engineer. I didn't really understand that about him. I just remembered him from Rocky. Speaking of Rocky, I did look for a Carl Weathers 1980s VHS workout. I did look for a Sylvester Stallone 1980s VHS workout. I couldn't find one. If you have one in your house and you would like to rip it and send it to me, please do. I'll do any 1980s workout that you can get your hands on or I can get my hands on. I love these things. The video starts and then he's riding his bike on a beach, philosophizing nature the elements of life and death. Already I knew this wasn't gonna be a typical workout video because you don't have to think so hard in a typical workout video. They're in one room, they do the workout, they say keep going every once in a while, everyone's sweaty, they say subscribe to my YouTube and that's it, that's, that's done. This has at least three locations. So production value. First location, riding your bike on the beach. Now we're in a lifeguard tower and he's telling us about how it's important to have a healthy physical body to be a well-rounded person. He says that when he was younger, all he did was focus on his studies and he didn't really focus on developing a good physique. And that didn't happen until he started martial arts. I can kind of relate to this. I have been a nerd my entire life. So I knew what he was talking about. Now we move on to the warm-up section. Dolph is inside. He's shirtless. He's oiled up. Why is he more oiled inside than he was outside? My Zoom workout buddy was definitely objectifying Dolph in the warm-up section. He's asking for it. It's a thirst trap. He's out there all oiled up in little shorts. I forgive a person a thirst trap. We all need to set thirst traps every once in a while just to feel good about ourselves. Now the next section, we go to the cardio section. The cardio section is completely freestyle. It's four rounds of two minutes each. You just do whatever you're gonna do. Dolph doesn't try to tell you you gotta do this, this, or that. He's shadow boxing, but what do you wanna do? It's up to you. Now I will say this. The second round, Dolph takes a break. Like, girl, you're really gonna take a break in your own workout video? Was he fulfilling his maximum potential by taking a break? That's up to him to decide. That's his maximum potential. Now the third section of the cardio is Dolph and his two friends running on a beach. If you ever wanted to be in an 80s montage, the third section of cardio is where you wanna be. It's him and his friends racing down a beach and we're supposed to run in place for the whole two minutes. Now Dolph wins all of the races. I don't believe he would've won the races because he took a break in round two and the other guys kept going. Maybe he rested so he could beat them on a beach in a separate location, I'm not sure. I do suspect these guys would have beat him. I don't know, he's got those long legs. So for the last section, you just go all out, you give it your all. Okay, randomly insert Vitruvian Man by Leonardo da Vinci. Randomly insert Michelangelo's David and a shout out to the Greeks. You gotta, you gotta keep thinking the whole video. Mind, body, mind, body. That's what Dolph is about. Move on to body sculpt. These are your basic 1990s gym teacher exercises. He shows you how to do them right. We go through the whole body, the section that really killed me was the push-up section. You gotta do five sets of 15 with your hands in different positions. So what is he implying with this push-up section? To reach your maximum potential, you need to grow. And in order to grow, you need to change. 
change your hand position. In this body sculpt section, I will forgive Dolph Lundgren's double half shirts. I'm not even gonna say anything about it. I don't know why he was wearing two half shirts, but that was his right. That was the style at the time, and I'm not gonna mention it. Okay, and now after the body sculpt section, we have to do math real quick. You have to take your pulse. They didn't have a calculator on their wrist or in their pocket. So when he said, okay, take your pulse, now multiply this by five, he expected you to do that in your head because he showed a chart. It was, the chart was only on the screen for about five seconds. You gotta pause it and be like, okay, where am I lining up? If I had taken it after the cardio section, I would have been working hard enough and I wouldn't have disappointed the VHS. We get to the stretching section. The stretching section is amazing. He's playing Who's Zoom and Who by Aretha Franklin. And then he talks about nutrition, which is 1980s nutrition. So basically he doesn't eat any fat, but he's okay with sugar, which is the opposite of nutrition now. I don't know who's right. He's in phenomenal shape. Maybe he's right. There are fitness people on YouTube right now also in phenomenal shape. Maybe they're right. I don't really know. He does say he puts apple juice in his cereal and I will forgive him for that, even though that is nasty. Another location change. We go to the mindfulness section and Dolph talks to us about how not to be overwhelmed by the pressures of modern life. That's ambition, keeping up with the Joneses, being overwhelmed by technology. Now you might be surprised to know that they had technology in 1987, but they did. And he's right. Everything that he said about 1987 stresses apply 10 times today. So I would not skip through this section. So we're done with the video. We're on to end credits. You think it's over. It's not over. Guess who is a PA on this video? Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino is a PA on Dolph Lundgren's 1987 VHS workout. One of the most respected directors of our generation. Just a PA. How cool was this set? I know that all directors and producers who are big now started off somewhere, but to start off here, that's really impressive. If you have done this video, let me know what you thought of it. If you're looking for a workout to do that's co-ed so you can do it with your boo, try this video. It's actually really good. And if you are looking to achieve that next step in enlightenment where you can join the mind and the body, definitely try this. You won't be disappointed. If you found this video helpful in choosing a 1980s VHS workout, please subscribe because I do these all the time and I'll do more videos. And if you have a suggestion for me, put it in the comment section below. I will try that video.